Yeah, thanks. Look, it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun and to win three from three is the most important thing. I think the way that we're playing now as a team and as a unit, um, we're getting better and better as each game goes on. Uh, I think our fielding today was outstanding. You know, we bowled very well in partnerships and our batting was brilliant. So, you know, we can still keep improving in all facets of the game. But, um, yeah, it's always nice to have a win. Yeah, when you've been away from the game for 15 months, it's uh, nice to get back. I never thought or knew if I get the chance to play for Australia again, period. Uh, but to be here in front of my home crowd and, you know, to get a couple of wickets and to have a win on this wonderful ground, um, it's obviously the reason why I'm smiling. A bit of what was about two years ago, possibly. Yeah. Uh, no, look, I think um, experience is definitely playing a part. Um, you know, you have to evolve as a bowler. But I'm just enjoying my career. And I've done that. You know, this this you know this whole season with the Blues, I've, I've really tried to just enjoy my cricket. Um, now back playing for Australia, which has been my goal, and to make the World Cup squad um, is something that I've always wished, you know, and and sort of wanted to do. So um, just enjoying myself. It's feeling alright, yeah, I'm feeling okay. It's, uh, look, it's been a hard road um, over the, the past probably three, four months. I've had a, um, like a rigorous uh, training sort of scheme which I've been working on and schedule and um, it's, all, it's all starting to pay off now. So I'm enjoying it and as I said, it's, uh, it's great to be winning, but um, yeah, try my hardest. Yeah, it is nice. I think, um, well, boy, I've said for a long time, Dave Huss is a wonderful player and he's shown that in first class cricket for a while now. Um, and again, he's, has made the most of his opportunity. He's played a handful of games, well, I think he's played nearly 30 games now for Australia, one day games. Um, and it's good to see him finish the innings off today. I think with, uh, with injury concerns with Michael Hussey and also Ricky, um, I think he's going to play a big role for us throughout the World Cup and he's probably going to bat five or six and be that finisher. And Great to see him do that tonight. I think his experience is probably the one that stands out the most, and he continues to show that on the field. I think his uh, enthusiasm around the group, as Malcolm said, he's, he's always got a smile on his face, and it's great to have him back in the team. And, his experience with the ball is he continues to lead our attack, I guess, and it's probably the one thing that um, you know we've been looking for. Uh, somebody who can, you know, you can throw him the ball anytime you like. You know, you know, he's your banker, I guess. You know what he can he can do. Um, his record speaks for itself, and um, he continues to improve. Mark, how do you predict the rest of the series will go? Despite on paper it looking impressive, the screen held neither side has been able to really take any great momentum or great uh, habit, particularly static win, really. Um, despite the lead, are you confident we can go on and win the series with you? Yeah, I think I might disagree with that. I think we can certainly take a lot of momentum. I think the name of the game is to win, and I think we've done that three games in a row, so we should take a lot of confidence from our performances. We haven't been at our best. Um, in any game at this stage, and we've still been able to win. So I think the boys can take a lot of confidence from that. And our goal is to win the next game. We go to South Australia tomorrow. It's a big game for us to win that game and win the series. But we are looking no further than that, as I've said in previous press conferences. I think it's really important that we do stay focused on what's in front of us um, and continue to build momentum leading up to what we have you know, in a, uh, in a month's time we in the subcontinent involved in a World Cup. So every win we get right now, the feeling in the change room is fantastic. Uh, the boys are stoked to, to get over the line again tonight. Um, we're going to continue to get better. Um, at this point, it's, um, how, what would a one-day series win and a comprehensive one-day series win do in terms of the morale and the size of the guys who are involved? Yeah, it, it would be great, no doubt. Um, I think for our fans as well, the people that come out and support us every day and, and watch at home on the television, I think... You know, that's one thing we've spoken about in the chain is every time we walk out onto the field, remember we're representing our country. Uh, and we do have a lot of fans. We, we cop a little bit of criticism. Um, rightly so, sometimes we deserve that. But we, have, I know, we all know we have a lot of people supporting us. And it's important that we continue playing good cricket, um, not only for ourselves, but for them as well. And I think, yeah, I think, you know, we've played some, some pretty good cricket throughout this series. Uh, we all know we can get better. 
um, as Brett said, in, in all facets of the game, but you know, it's enjoyable to, uh, to be winning again. Hopefully both uh, will be available for selection. Um, yeah, it's going to be tough. I thought John Hastings grabbed his, uh, grabbed his chance today and made the most of his opportunity, not just with the ball but with the bat as well. Uh, and he's a great guy to have around the group. He's a, he's a wonderful fella. Um, Brett's experience and knowledge, um, he's been waiting a long time to get back into this team, so it's going to be hard to ask him to have a rest. I think uh, I don't like my chances, to be honest. Uh, and Dougie's bowling well again as well, which is, which is nice. And I think the more he can, um, he can get overs under his belt, the better for us leading into the World Cup. So, yeah, it, it's going to be tough for the selectors. Um, unfortunately, we can only probably pick three fast bowls, especially in Adelaide. I imagine that we could all be a little bit slow and probably spin as well, so we're going to need the spin bowlers. Um, we'll work out whatever the best three are for that game in those conditions and go from there. Michael, playing throwing is in the mouth for one score over 50. In the case of the trial, it feels like it at the moment now, to be honest. I think the two complete different forms as well. So I think my form in one day cricket over the last four months has been very consistent. Um, so right now I'm not that worried, and we're winning, which is which is a bonus, which is makes life a lot easier, I guess, for individuals if they're not performing as well as I'd like. But yeah, look, I'm I'm training as hard as I possibly can. Um, oh, I've been saying it for a while now. I don't think I'm far away. I feel like I'm seeing the ball pretty well. I just can't go on and, and get that result. But all I can do is keep working hard. Uh, I've got plenty of support around me. All the guys have been very supportive. Um, support staff have been helping me out any time I want to do extra batting. They've been there for me and. I guess it's just, you know, for the people that are supporting me, my fans, it's, it's important for me to, you know, to, I guess, keep showing up, keep training my backside off and, and let those guys know that, you know, I'm certain it's going to turn soon. Awesome. You have been pretty cool about it, but I just like really dying to keep them up. You wish us? Me or us? You. Yeah, I'm going to, Ross, to be honest, yeah. Um, it's been a long summer. Um, I'm so happy that we're winning, though, to be honest. That's, that's a wonderful feeling at the moment to have the opportunity to captain the team um, and to, you know to see how happy the boys are in the change room it's a it's a great feeling around the group right now and it's hard not to look too far ahead but I think you know we it's really important that we do stay focused on the next game in Adelaide um, hopefully I can get some runs there personally but you know I'd, I'd take a duck in Adelaide to win the game so we'll wait and see what happens um, yeah my question was actually asked but I have another one <laughs> Dave Smith, have you, um, have you left signing in the day today? Oh, you've seen my Twitter. Um, <laughs> not, what, do you, what do you think he's looking for or what are you looking for for him? I don't know. What, it's not me. It's Steve looking. I'm just trying to help him out. Um, I'm certain he'll have some, some, some success. He's a, a wonderful wonderful guy, good looking young fella, and he plays cricket for Australia. So he'll. Uh, I'm certain he'll find a date. He's Love very excited Steve. that a lot of people are interested. He's had a, a lot of people um, tweet him as well. So. We'll wait and see the result over the next couple of weeks. I actually said to the league, Harry, she plays cricket, but have a lot of time. I'll let him know, see what he thinks. <laughs> Very good idea. He enjoys long walks on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <God. laughs> Have we done lots? <laughs> Thank you. I'm sweating. There was an incident today where Jonathan Trott was struggling to make his ground and veered across the pitch. Got himself between the ball and the thrower, setting for stumps. Yep. Do you think a fielding science should be able to feel for obstructing the field in that sort of situation? No, not at all. I don't think. Actually, I think I threw the ball, and it hit his bat. Yeah, I don't think you can't mean that. I don't think. Well, can he's even if the batsman changes direction. I think it's been happening for a long time in the game of cricket. I think the batters generally try and do whatever they can to protect their wicket. So, if it means running cross the line of a throw, if, if you're good enough to do that, um, fair play to him. I, don't, I certainly don't have a problem with it.